Now, if you struggle with an over-the-top golf swing where you really over-rotate your chest and shoulders to start that downswing, well, I have got a feel for you here, which will not only, one, help you calm that down and make you hit the ball way better on the driving range, but also one that you can take out onto the golf course and play better golf instantly with it. So let's dive right into this. Let's have a look at it, see what we've got to do. So I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. So over-rotating the chest and shoulders to start the downswing, extremely common of a reason for golfers who swing over the top. I'd say for golfers who swing over the top, this is probably the most common one in there. So whenever your chest and shoulders rotate very fast in transition, that club will get thrown out in front of you and go over there. Now, there is a very good feel and thought here, which is one that's used by Justin Rose, for example. Justin Rose struggles with a little bit of hands going out in front of him, chest rotating a bit too hard. To a lesser extent, of course, top tour player. But this is a feel he has in the golf swing that really fixes this quite nicely. And whenever I've got a lesson that really struggles with this movement, this feel instantly, like that, gets them where they need to be. So like we said, the chest rotates too hard in a downswing, too fast. We want the lower body and mid torso to rotate and we want the chest to be more passive and then the chest to follow the rest of the body's rotation. That will result in a club that's falling a little bit more on path. So for golfers who really have that upper body go too fast, the best thought here is to over exaggerate it the other way. So what's the opposite to this? This is the chest pointing behind you for as long as you can in the downswing. So we are starting our downswing and all of our thought here is the middle of our chest. So let's say I was wearing a golf top right now where the buttons and a polo shirt would be. I'll be thinking of the buttons pointing at the camera. So you, you guys there for as long as I can in the downswing. That will then keep my chest passive and that will get my lower body and mid torso rotating first. That extreme feel will really get it working in good sequence. So if I hit one here, you're gonna see quite a little bit of a in to out path, that's for sure. So let's do one. So as you can see there, definitely a little bit more on the inside for my path. So if you're a golfer who really struggles with upper body over rotating, this will get you a little bit more back to neutral. So I was thinking there, chest pointing at you guys for as long as I can in the downswing. If you really, really struggle with that chest really firing out there, I would even go as far to think that that chest is still pointing behind at impact. Will it be like that? Of course it's not. In reality, it will be, you will be rotating through that golf ball. But we need to always feel an extreme feel here to be able to make a change. Golfers don't stretch themselves enough to their extreme feel. They're always worried that this is really gonna hurt them if they try to do it over too much. They always think that they're gonna overdo it the other way. When you're doing a fault quite badly, you will never overdo it the other way short term. Maybe after years and years of practice, you could get it to where you're overdoing it. But in the space of the first year of practicing something, you wouldn't even possibly be able to get yourself to overdo the movement unless you hit about 2,000 balls a day. Maybe that's, that's the case there. Because we could even see, like we said, Justin Rose. What does Justin Rose do when he's practicing before his pre-shot routine? He extremes it so much to where he's performing his downswing, he's making his hands drop because that's an extreme feel to combat the hands going too far out in front of him. But he's really feeling like that chest is pointing still behind him at the camera, at his coach, Sean Foley, as he's doing his practice swings. And then he moves into the shot and does the exact same feel there. So again, I was feeling like my chest was pointing at you for as long as possible. So on the driving range, let's say you're in an enclosed driving range, for example, feel like you're pointing it at either the camera that's recording your golf swing, which I hope you do when you practice, record your own swing, or at the mirror behind you. Have that chest point there for as long as possible. Or if you're at the golf course, for example, pointing up some trees behind you or just some imaginary person, because people shouldn't be standing behind you when you're hitting your shots, because that's quite distracting. But feel like you're pointing your chest at something behind you for as long as you can that downswing and you will calm down your over the top and over active upper body. Always overdo the field guys. You've got to make sure you massively overdo it. Don't try to do things properly when you are just working on something brand new because we don't want the chest to be pointing back here at impact. It's the feel we want. Chest pointed behind you for the whole time. So if you like this video guys, of course, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button 
hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So a nice short and sweet one there guys of this really good feel that I give to a, all my overactive upper body guys who come in for lessons and it works every single time. So if you struggle with this, get on it and you'll be swinging a little bit less over the top.